welcome back welcome back everyone to the little red ninja allotment today I'm sorting out one of my September October jobs the polytunnel door as both zips on it have disintegrated so it needs an upgrade I will take you in this video from the very beginning of what the, what it's like to the very end and hopefully you'll like it because I certainly have I've enjoyed making the door fitting the door and the finished article so sit back and enjoy oh and by the way don't forget to smash the subscribe button for us that helps with my pay, my channel growing and able to show you better videos so enjoy right stage one of the polytunnel door you can't see it but the zips on the door have gone so they're totally useless so what I need to do is measure up and make a frame for my door what I am going to try and do is redo reuse the door fingers crossed so all that will be the door and the door frame will be all there across there and down there so wish us luck because I've got a neighbour on my plot to help me with this so wish us luck right what I've done or what we've done we've marked out the door frame as this door looks a bit raggedy so all the wood has been cut and measured and all I'm going to do now is make that frame it shouldn't take too long hopefully the rain will keep off but first I need to give it a lick of paint so it will last there's untreated wood so better to treat it and that won't take long right then next job done for the uh, polytunnel door I've po painted all the posts that I need I've got some uprights and I've actually got the door there doesn't look a lot of wood but it's all there ready to be ready to be turned into a door for my polytunnel so that will be the next job here on the base I will be putting a plank of wood mainly a scaffolding board so I will anchor that down so the two uprights which go up here and then if you can see there's a line there that's where the door frame will go across and there'll be one going all the way down anchored into the ground and I'll be able to have a door where I can open easily and as you can see my polytunnel needs sorting out the squashes in here have gone nuts as as the tomatoes oh and the peppers as well 
blimey. I think I might have to do a big picking in the next couple of days because I've got lots to pick. Right then, I'm going to uh, show what we've done so far on the polytunnel door. All this needs to be picked, by the way. And there we go. As you can see, the frame for the door is up. And I have a base plate at the bottom which is a scaffolding board and onto that I have an inner and outer bit of the door frame same with the top it's inside the polytunnel and the same with that bit so and it's quite pleasant today so we can get this done in no time so I'll be right back a little bit more done See you soon. Just thought I'd uh, show you the inside before we do all the do 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 the door frame, not do the do. Right, as you can see, the fabric of the door we've cut, and it's down there. So that will go in the door frame itself the actual door that I'll open but it is looking good it is looking really good trying to keep it as neat and tidy as possible as a door frame could be but thumbs up to this I'm liking this so we'll crack on and do a bit more Next bit that has been done, well nearly done, is the actual door itself. Got some, uh, whatever these are called, I can't remember, but door frame is pretty good. A central, central arm here, and this will stop any fabric I've got here from just flapping willy-nilly which is pretty good and it is anchored the whole door frame do you think I've got quite a few screws in there and the other side as well and surprisingly it's still warm in here so that's all good. So the next clip, hopefully, it will be complete. Okay, let's back out a second. Here we go. That's a bit better. Sorted. So back in a mo. Right, and I should have a complete polytunnel door. Here we go. Da da one complete door that is solid. And I've even got a ventilation hole here. Superb with a latch as well. And I've remembered what these were. Hinges. Two of them. One down the very bottom. And one here. There is a little bit of a gap on the door. But I don't mind that. Because it lets a little bit of air in. Even, when, even in the winter time. Which would be ideal. And let's see if this works. Oh look at that, easy. Right. Let's go in and have a look from the inside. And as you can see, one 
door complete. And it's been made everything that you see as recycled. The only thing you had to buy were some screws and that's it. So jobs are good and I'm well impressed with this. If you'd like to know how I did this drop me a line and I'll try and explain it to you in full but a big shout out, go, shout out goes to one of my neighbours who gave me a hand done an absolute superb job so if you liked the video about making a polytunnel door please press the subscribe button don't forget to like it as well and share it amongst your friends and don't forget to hit the notification bell so in the meantime stay safe and I will now as well as the polytunnel enjoy your gardening and I'll see you the next time until then, bye for now.